What's going on YouTube? This your man Frank Dutch right here, man. I'm back at y'all with another video. And today I want to, you know, get straight to it. I'm going to do, do it a little bit different this time. I want to get straight to it, man. I want to talk to y'all about how I like to use virtual tracks in console in conjunction with, you know, Pro Tools or whatever the case may be. We got the console software, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we also have the demo version of the Lexicon um, 4... ADL, which is a dope, a, a super dope reverb you've heard on almost every song since the 90s and probably even before then. Like, they, they, this, this reverb has been around for a long time. I've seen them before. You know, I never got to use one myself personally yet. If it's anything like this plugin or better, man, what I like to do is, you know, especially like if I'm running. A demo version you know and I'm I don't necessarily want to buy it just yet but I want this certain flavor on a song what I'll do is I'll put it in a virtual track I'll go over to Pro Tools say this is my session right here so yeah we got that right we got that vocal laid right there this is basically what I'll do. I'm gonna get mine regardless. I'm trying to cop and park in four door garages. Why y'all spitting that garbage? I made money stretch like neck on the nostrils. So I like to really take it to the old school method where we actually print what the uh, reverb unit or the delay unit is actually doing. So once I get it in there like that, I'll, I'll blast it all the way up, you know what I mean, on, on the full setting, full wet, and uh, bring it to Unity. And I'll put the input of a new audio channel, I'll set that to the virtual instrument, right? Hit record. Look, not your brain cells with God's gift. I'm gonna get mine regardless. I'm so say like that's all I wanted to affect uh, turn it off from recording mute the channel or turn the send off either way it works and I'll play it back see what we got you know what I'm saying like kind of adjusted the taste and boom I got the reverb it'll never leave the session and it's just like how they used to do back in the day with hardware you know when they were patching some hardware gear whether it be a delay or a um a actual reverb unit or you know whatever whatever type of effects you know even compressors whatever the case may be run it through do your settings and print it you know what i mean simple as that <laughs> 